guys, welcome back to Greenverse Packing. In this video, we'll be showing you guys the package hard goods on eBay that we sell. Uh, we haven't put out a few videos because we've been busy, but like, yeah, we've still been selling. So check out our store, you know, if you want to follow our store, what type of stuff we sell. Uh, today we have this vintage rock and sock and robot. Uh, so we're using our favorite box again, uh, the Home Depot extra large box to try to fit it in. It fits this way pretty good, but if you go like this, you notice it's too tall. So we we luck out because we can turn it this way and it'll still go here. So we just score here and fold it down from there. So we'll just do my blade real quick. Kind of, cause we know that that's part like that. So if we go like this, right on this here, just give enough room. So we'll say around right top of this Home Depot logo. That's what we're gonna cut. So we just, the back of our cutter, score here. It's gonna follow through, follow through, follow through, follow through there. Flip it over. Just gonna mark where we're at here. Flip it over, over right here. And right, of course, we're not gonna be right through there, so follow right on through. This is actually going to be easier than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, we got my tape. So we'll just box it up. It's going to be a little bit wide on the side. But we need some extra room anyways. The majority of the time you like to be as flush as it can. So you can save on shipping costs. <laughs> So right back to where we scored, right there, we'll grab our blade. With your blade, I just changed my blade so it's still pretty sharp. It's, the blade is the most dangerous when it's sharp and it's also the most dangerous when it's dull. So when it's dull, you gotta be careful to change for a new blade, but when you get a new blade, you gotta be careful because it's really sharp and you could cut yourself. There we go. Just like that. And then it'll fit in perfect with a little room. We would like to be a little bit more uh, closer like that. But in this case, it's the best thing we've got and it's the easiest thing to do. All right. I'm gonna go some stuffing paper. Try to stuff it as best as we can. Probably need some more. Some more. Paper, right on top, on the side. Put it in. Let's see. We try to make it as light as we can so we don't need this extra part. We'll slice it off, trim it off. I use this stuff to ship other stuff too, so it's good to not waste too much. Here's the next item we have a pink golf club. So the golf club is a little bit trickier than a baseball bat because it has a bigger in here. So we're back with our extra large Home Depot box. And it's extra long too because baseball bats, in my other vid videos, I'll show you guys that it fits perfectly in, in one of these side here. So what we're gonna do, we use two of them. And with the extra large box, there's one side that's smaller than one side. We're gonna use two of the larger side so the way we do that is uh, open it right up cut it down here that's a small side we won't use we'll just cut it to four pieces this, this is a large 
this is a small, so I'm gonna use both of the large. We'll move the small to the side and we'll use them for baseball bats in the future. So since it's longer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna overlap. We're gonna make two triangle tubes and just like uh, put them together. So you could, since we have extra right here and we know that's long enough so we don't have to score it up here to be perfect, we could just use this and go ahead to help us out with the box I already have. But we gotta mark it here so we have enough room for the top of the club. So we go here, and then that's, it'll be like that, club-wise, that way. So what we're going to do is we're not going to make a square. We're going to make a triangle because we can make a square too, but in this case, I'm just going to make a triangle. It's quicker. It's off. Right here. We'll mark here. We're going with the grain, so it's a lot easier when you go with the grain. This is going to cross the grain, so here, let's put this one right here again, mark that, bend that up. See, we're just going to make a square, we could just one more time here and fold this over, but we're going to make a, a triangle. In that case, we need to make this bigger right here. So back to fix that out. So the triangle can flip like that. So we want to give it a little bit of room too, but just by eyeing it where I want it to be, you can see here because it goes with the grain. Just kind of fold it in. So you get it like a full triangle. So when you're doing when you're doing two different Tubes like this, you gotta be careful. That's, there's a way you have to cheat on this stuff. But I'll show you that in a minute. Let me set this top piece first. So as always, when you have your, your triangle stuff like that, you'll be cutting down one, two, and three like that. This part right here, you'll, you'll go ahead and cut it like this off. And you'll see why it's like that in a little bit because this is just overlapping for support and then from here you'll just go just triangle right across this, the edge it don't have to be perfect because you can always make it work when it comes down to this way like this like that i always like to like that and then this part covers the top like that for support. If this is too long, you could go ahead and like cut, cut one of these stuff and it still doesn't matter. Here too. Just so it'll fit like that. All right, from here, since we have one side of our stuff there, we know we have our club that's long, longer than that. So we, we know that it'll, it'll fit. So we're gonna go ahead and cheat the same way with this side. But we gotta remember that one of them, this is gonna be on the outside. So this one's gonna have to be a little bit different from this one. So you can kind of like cheat this one because you're like, okay, this is an outside. This is an outside. Like that, that way you'll know that this one can overlap. Because they're both sides like that. So this one can't overlap. So what you need to do is the same thing. There you go. Then you'll cut this part. Off. And we already have this stuff overlapping. So we know where the cut is at right here. like that then we'll go back to cutting this part off because that's the overlapping part and then we're just gonna try and angle off our triangle cuts here so 
and you know, like I say, sometimes you can just square off this top piece just, in, just so the edges don't get in the way. So you know that this is your outer piece and this is the inner piece. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this one together first. Just like that. So, so we're gonna take our triangle first on one side. Just to hold right here, we don't have to do anything yet. All right, now we have our club bubble wrapped up. Just stick it right in. And some packing paper, you can just slip right in the top here. Just so the club doesn't move a lot. It's, it should be some, decently smooth already. Now you got this half done, you can go ahead and take the other. Take it right there. Just make sure you get the top it up. Alright. Now we come from here. So we already had that stuff taken care of. We just fold it right up. Overlap this. This here. There and there, but we'll take this part up real quick first. Top piece right here. Tape up the triangle. And then right here, I was going to take straight down. Just a few, just to make sure it's secure together. Let me go this side. two-way with the handy dandy Home Depot SLR box. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.